like this. <laughs> Look who it is. Look who it is, guys. He thinks he's over like Rover. Two words. <laughs> Painfully average. Painfully average. Oh, here he comes. Whoa, whoa. Look at his arms, guys. Last weekend he was wrestling in New York. I gotta give him credit. He's taken it to another level in the last last couple of years. Just remember one thing. I made him, and sooner or later I'll fucking break him. He's copied my fucking man bun. The guy's a bitch. He's a talented bitch. He's even wearing a red. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get the fuck back from me, pal. Don't wear that nice shit. Look at Darwin Jr. with his man bun and red tie. Look at him. He thinks he's me. He's me if I never left a buffet. Alright guys, we're waiting for the second entrant to the Rise Rumble. Oh, here he is. The Rise Wrestler of the Year. B.A. Rose. Big Joe's beaten up. Broken down. Alright, this is going to be an interesting match. Has anyone ever seen the movie The Fly? It kind of looks like if Big Joe and a fly went in one of those biometric machines, B.A. Rose would be the outcome. Big Joe's copying me, he's now got a man bun. B.A. Rose looks like Hannibal Lecter and a butcher. I heard they break one another's necks. B.A. Rose. Oh. Oh, I hope they knock one another's teeth out. The thing is, Big Joe gets turned on by it, guys. This is the problem. How do you wrestle a man that enjoys pain? Big Joe, who lives from his car. After the scars that he's endured over the last several years, his partner no longer welcomes him back in the stately manner in Great Yarmouth that he lives. Oh, look, he's taking off the tie because, quite frankly, quite frankly, he knew there's only one man big enough in the roster of Rise to wear a red tie. It's IRS going for a DDT. IRS and Hannibal Lecter's love child. And big effing Joe. I won't condone his name, and he kicked out of one. He's still got a lot left in the tank. Sounds like there's a helium balloon being inhaled behind me. The only thing bigger than Joe's career is his ass. And they're both growing at a rapid rate. That's disgusting. I assume that is Rise faithful member of Cole Barber. And now we're welcoming entrant number three. Now I've got to say as a... All right, okay, stay back, bitch. Dara Diablo, go get the devil his due. See what I did there. Former several time rise. Oh, hardcore champion. That was a brutal chair shot. Big Joe setting up Dara. Dara, unfortunately, being subjected to the hardcore division. He's 
actually a good wrestler. But unfortunately, we don't have a ring anymore. It's 2022. Rises in its eighth year. And you know what we've said? Let's go back in the time machine. Oh, hard club in forearm by BA. Big Joe setting up a chair now. He's picking up a chair. It's almost like there's no psychology in these matches. Oh, Dara's neck may have just been broken. I love his moustache. If I could grow something like that, I would do. Big Joe now, or B.A. I hope he takes Big Joe's head off. Oh, B.A. Rose. Look at Joe, bent over like a whore. A typical Norwich. Dara going to town and he stuck a fork in Joe's ass. Oh, B.A. Rose just laid out. Dara Diablo. Dara. Dara is now taken out and we've got our latest entry in the Rise Rumble. Let's stand over the light tubes. I don't know who this is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a cheese grater involved now. There he is. He got a big victory earlier tonight. Leopard Skin Lou! Leopard Skin Lou! Leopard Skin Lou! He's laying out all competition. I say, I give the devil his due. I like Lou next. There's something about the guy. He made me submit earlier in 2021. But there's something about his working class charm. Dara just smashed him in the face though. Quite. Look at Big Joe. I think that's a metaphor. The headless mannequin represented the headless booking of Rise Underground Professional Wrestling, established in 2013. Of course, this is unbelievable. This is tasty. Big Joe uses it as a sex toy. Oh, narrowly. This is a very handy weapon, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no, don't do it, Joe. Don't do it, Joe. Oh no, he's going for the, they're going for the cobblers. He's going for the cobblers of BA. He's being taken for a ride. Oh, that's unbelievable. Jeremy Beadle, eat your heart out. Big Evan Joe, the outlaw of British wrestling. A despicable pervert, mind you, but Lou Nixon taken down with some shoots wrestling. All right, there's a torso. There is a titty. Mother boat that hasn't been seen. Whoa, whoa, pal. Get, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want to. I don't want to get cancelled. I'm progressive, Darwin. Oh, go on, B. A. Rose. Go on, B. A. Rose. He just stuck a fork in him, and he's done. Break his neck. Oh, don't do that to Big Joe. He just might like it. There's actually two matches unfolding simultaneously. I don't know what to look at. The camera folk don't know what to look at. I'm just gonna walk around right now. Dara Diablo. I like the guy. He's got a, a very sneezy moustache. Oh, he's a jacked young man. He just took out the eyes. And here he is. Look who it is, guys. It's the ice hole himself. If you remember, he won the Rise Games of Death tournament in a valiant effort against Big Joe. These two have bad blood. Dara, though, doesn't give a shit about the history of these two, and he's just taken them both out. If you remember, after Iceman's victory, where he won for the first time in his career, celebrating a storybook career. I came out of nowhere. Threatened to throw his silly little bitch of a son over the stairs and became the champion. Hashtag just saying. But I'm woke. I'm progressive. I, I apologize. Well, I don't even know what to call. What do you do right now? This is like no mercy on the N64. Lou Nixon going for the pin. 
Oh my god, a helium balloon. No, it's not helium balloon. I don't know what it is. Dara going for the pin. Big Joe now going for the pin. He hooked the back of the neck because he's a shooter. Oh, Dara just got hit in the cobblers with a fault. Big Joe now kicking him in the head like the piece of trash that he is. If it's possible, I want everyone to lose. Dara now is in a precarious position. Oh, Dara's back just got broken half. The Iceman and B.A. Rose going at it. Tooth and hammer. Tooth and now. We know the music. We know who this is. It's the sad boy. He's proud to be homeless. It's the one. The only. Michael Caden. Look at the state of the unfolding events. Michael Caden is waiting for Dara to turn around. Oh, he just broke that on Dara's head. Now he's standing like a proud ballerina. Caden has just annihilated Dara, but the silly idiot isn't going for a pin. This isn't a popularity contest. Trust me on that. I'm the only Rise Heavyweight Champion of three times. Lou Nixon now looks like he's next to the list. And Michael Caden almost took a fan out. And himself, oh, and now he just got annihilated with a steel chair. This is brutality at his finest. Big Joe, oh, he's just... They're now teaming up. Oh, Caden's knees, thank God he's got two. Big Joe's going for it and he just missed. Low blow by Michael Caden. Has he turned heel is the question. Iceman Tenacious going for the pin in spite of Michael Caden's arrogance. Why is he showboating? This is carnage. This looks like the booster cue for your latest Pfizer jab. People are passing out. People are on the floor. Lou Nixon just got annihilated. Darren Diablo just got smashed in the eyes. Iceman is bleeding precariously. What you need to understand, people at home, is that you're watching this and thinking this is unbelievable carnage. The hardcore division are submissive men, sadomasochists. They enjoy this. Watch. These two are going to try to hurt themselves. Big Joe has been a trust. He's really enjoying this. Yeah, look at him. He's having a go for him. Big Joe and Michael Caden. This is unbelievable. Oh, well, I want someone to knock her fucking head off her shoulders. What action am I meant to call? I'm literally watching Dara Diablo, Lou Nixon. I'm watching Michael Caden walk around. I'm watching Iceman bleeding now with B.A. Rose on the ground. I'm watching Big Joe playing SmackDown versus Raw with Heidi Katrina. I don't know what to focus on. looks like oh all oh, right back in the middle of the action right now i almost got taken out of the chair dara's head has just been used as a as a cushion i don't know what is happening this is probably the most insane match in the history of the rise oh hardcore division funnily enough this is going to be the last time this belt is ever competed it will be retired tonight Michael Caden is being bit by the love child and the Hannibal Lecter and Erwin R. Scheister. Heidi is now just taking out Dara. Looks like they're teaming up, ironically enough, just moments ago. Now they're making a pact. Dara 
Diablo. Oh, just got his head clean kicked off his shoulders. Dara is eliminated, ladies and gents. And if you watch that in slow motion, I think it's fair to say Dara Diablo has just, oh my God, lost a couple of teeth. I like this guy. Look at this dude, he's young, he's hungry. He looks like a man, not a ballerina. I like this guy already. He is tough. He has a legitimate background in mixed martial arts. He is not a gymnast. He is a former boxer, former MMA fighter, not a Cirque du Soleil ballerina. And he doesn't give a damn about Big Joe. He's exampling. Oh, he's asking who runs his fucking town. This kid's got some talent. I don't know what to look at. <laughs> Big Joe reversing it and then throwing a headbutt into Brett. Let's hope that's his name. I'm gonna call him Brett. An like MMA guy. But then Lou Nixon's also an MMA guy. Let's call him Spandex Black. Spandex Black. Oh! You know what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm watching right now as Dara Diablo is being taken out by the Iceman. I thought two minutes ago he was just eliminated. I think it's fair to say Michael Caden has lost his temper. Even submissive people, once in a blue moon, get angry. He's asking Michael Caden for Tracy Smothers music to be played. What is happening? Ladies and gentlemen, I am ashamed to call myself a professional wrestler. This is a desecration. People say wrestling is subjective. It's like art. This is an art. This is sadomasochism. And it looks like Lou Nixon has just been eliminated. I don't even know where to look. Heidi twice tonight has been eliminated. Oh! What on earth is happening? Look! Zach Gowan's in the house! Oh, you want to be friends again? Oh, yeah. All right, Heidi. Bitch. All right, we're back in the middle of this brawl right now, and now the MMA fire! Oh, Brett just stuck him out! Yes, Brett! Do it again! Break his fucking ribs! Break his fucking ribs! Yes! He fell like a sack of shit! Now, Jack, the son of Iceman, is making his entrance to the Rumble. If you remember, he's had one match for Rise, and it was against me. And I humbled him. Hashtag the saying. Oh, Caden just took out Jack, the son of Iceman. Is Iceman gonna stand for his son being abused, or is he gonna make a stand? Michael Caden, the Iceman, they had a classic in the games of death. Are they going to continue? And I don't even know what's fucking happening here. This is, ladies and gentlemen, what happens. Oh my God. Oh my. Well, this is carnage. guys once in a while something doesn't live up to its expectations a rise rumble without a ring i think it's fair to say was going to be insane this is bedlam big joe's soaring cadence head open 
Brett, the MMA fighter, has just been hit by the Iceman, the living legend of Deathmatch Wrestling. And now the son of the Iceman is annihilated with a steel chair to have a mention, Brett, the MMA fighter. What am I meant to call? I'm here on my own. This is an easy. The Eagles song the song, take it easy, but how do you in this environment? Jack is teaming with his father. They're annihilating together, B.A. Rose. He's been in it since the beginning. Big Joe's got some fire, some flames. Oh, no, oh I'll protect you, young man. Oh! I've seen that before. Michael Caden, Big Joe's coming back, and I don't know what he's doing. No! Oh! Oh! This is a shocking turn of events. The MMA fire is absolutely. Oh! He was desecrating Big Joe, but now he's being burned like a bitch. Welcome to Rise, son. He's been in a boxing ring, he's been in an octagon, but he's never been in a no ring death match rumble. Michael Caden walking around. And everyone with a steel chair. This is reckless. This is the reason I'm on Coventry and not in the match. And now, unbelievably, Jack has just been hit by 50 skewers in the head, as you would expect in a rise death match without a ring. Now, the Iceman is being subjected to the same fate of his son. And now, the command skewers are in the Iceman's head. Look at the father and son, they're peacocking. No, this is unbelievably disgusting and disturbing. And on the floor, the cement with glass breaks them all. Big Joe, very arrogant cover. I'm standing back from Michael Payton. He has been a house of fire tonight. What possibly the most insane match that has ever been held in British wrestling? I am glad I'm not in it. Michael Caden just hit the MMA fighter Brett, and now he's hit me, Joe, and now he's going for Jack. Oh, the light tube to the head. Big Joe is more comfortable with the light tube than he is a hammerlock. Big Jack now showing some fire, some fight. Michael Caden, oh! What can you say about this? Jack is just brutalizing himself. Michael Caden, his attitude tonight that I've never seen with him before. Oh, I don't even know what's going to happen here. Jesus Christ. The Iceman and Caden had a hell of a match recently in a Game of Death tournament. The question is, what are they going to do? Oh, your blood's on my blazer, you cunt. Oh, I don't know what's gonna happen here. On top of the table, this is going to end. Not very well! What do you even say to that? No one else can go under the blows. I think Iceman has broke his back. Oh, what the hell is going on? How is someone in their right mind meant to commentate on this? Iceman just broke his spine, I think Caden's broke his neck, Jack just got thrown into the side of the wall, everyone is bleeding, but I can assure you ladies and gentlemen, everyone did a PCR test, to take a blood test is the real question. B.A. Rose, B.A. Rose, Oh, B.A. is a smart man. There is a reason that B.A. Rose was the Rise Wrestler of the Year in 2021. He has one hell of an endurance on him. Don't be fooled by his size. The kid is strong, he's fast, he's powerful. And he's... For you, catch your pussy! Oh! Oh, Big Joe's going to squirt like a squid! Do not think for one second Big Joe didn't enjoy that. Joe will be in that for the next five hours if he had his way. Jack in his second match for Ryan, he's showing fire. Got to say, Jack is impressive. 
I wrestled him in his first match in this very arena. Can I call it an arena? I think that's an exaggeration. Oh! This shithole bar. But Jack has got hit in the back of the head. Shia is now taken down. We're getting to the nitty gritty, guys. There's Jack, the son of the Iceman. There's Big Joe and it's B.A. Rose. And now B.A. Rose is currently on the sideline. I don't know where I'm going to stand for this. This is brutality. Big Joe is laying it in to the Iceman's son. That's a white singlet on, by the way. It's nice. Jack is bleeding profusely. B.A. Rose and Big Joe using Jack as a battering ram. Oh. The brutality of this is just uncomfortable for me. B.A. Rose and Big Joe teaming together. It's going to scar the head of the son of the Iceman, Jack. This is brutality. fair to say since 2020 and the COVID pandemic everyone's felt a little bit of stress and strain it's nice to have an outlet once in a while but I think this is taking it to another level Big Joe now has a light tube sword of course he does a light tube sword is in a precarious position on the floor what on earth is he intended to do to the son of the Iceman the legendary Iceman's son Jack is being Oh, taken out again. Oh my god, the crimson mass. Big, Big Joe is showing a side to him. That is one of the reasons why he has become a fixture in deathmatch wrestling, not just in the United Kingdom, but around the world. But the son of the Iceman is showing fire. He's not ready to be extinguished just yet. He is bleeding profusely. I think it's fair to say that we're not going to be able to compete for much longer on this occasion because the police will imminently arrive. This is not a wrestling match. This is a brutal bar fight. Jack is almost... Oh my god! Almost showing fire! Well, what can I say to the fans aren't already? A sword of iTunes made by a perverse fan was just extinguished on the son of the Iceman Jack and he's going for it again. Closer to the bone, this gets more uncomfortable to watch! Big Joe is still not done with him. Even I'm thinking he can give the kid a break at this point. I don't know what he's looking to achieve right now. This is borderline assault. This is assault. This is unbelievably disgusting. And a knee to the head. A two count. I cannot believe what I'm witnessing. Oh, Big Jones has taken him out again. This time, not so lucky. The Iceman's son has just put a valiant effort. Big fucking Joe. Dare I say along with myself, the cornerstones of Rise. And along with him, the Rise wrestler of the year, B.A. Rose. B.A. Rose has something to prove and he's hungry. Can he hit him with a power driver? This will finish Big Joe. This has been a devastating move. Oh, and he just broke his fucking neck. B.A. Rose has won this match. B.A. Rose, the Rise Wrestler of the Year, has just landed on Big Joe. And I am legitimately concerned, as much as I don't like Joe, that his neck may be broken. What can you say to what we've just witnessed? Wow! Jesus Christ! B.A. Rose, out of every 
something we've just seen in this match. Managed to top with a brutal power driver. I, I've not seen Big Joe move much. Legitimately, that was one of the most insane matches that I've ever seen in my life. Big Joe is barely moved. And the last champion of the Rise Hardcore title. Wow. B.A. Rose has made a statement tonight. Whoever is the Rise Heavyweight Champion, they need to be put on notice. Oh, fuck, it's me. Uh, well, the kid will get his opportunity at some point in the future. Maybe not tomorrow. But I've got to give him his due. He just picked up Big Joe like a bag of trash and dropped him on his neck. My words can't do that justice. Big Joe has not moved. I have seen some insanity from almost a decade of Rise Underground professional wrestling. This match has got to be at the top of that list. Wow. Big Joe is still alive. He won't die just yet. That's one of the most, what can I say for that? Danny O'Doki, a shocking finish. Don't know why my music's playing now. I'm doing fuck all after this, guys. That was one of the most shocking finales to a match I've ever seen. No ring, what did you think of that? Well, I'm done, ladies and gentlemen.